Caller on line one. Time to turn the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Horace. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Don't forget. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? <laughs> sure. Party, Done. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six-pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six-pack of beer if Dallas High wins. A free six-pack? Righteous! You heard me. Six beers if Dallas High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spree or call off 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite Grilling Spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. And we're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. As 
There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. And this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Bye, Murray's time. That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. That's not opening. This must be it. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. 
This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the Whistling Man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. Or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, 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 I got it. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh. We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he... Glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night call-in show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here should be in the archives, actually. 
I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio! It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure! 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double-check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl! Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich!
Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up The Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Ah, oh, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. <laughs> 